Hi guys, welcome back to Switched On, Paul speaking, and episode 4 of our Rush Rally 3 career playthrough on the Nintendo Switch. And uh, we move on to Germany. If you've been following, we've done Finland, Mexico, Sweden. We find ourselves in third place in the standings after those three rallies. And as uh, I mentioned on the end of the last episode, what we're going to do today before we get into the Germany rally is just going to look at the uh, upgrade options. So you win points or coins or money, whatever you want to call it, shown at the top of the page there, top of the screen, we've got 9,485 rally points that we can spend. First of all, you can customize your car. You've got lots of different options here to change the decals and uh, far more creative people than me will be enjoying that and digging around. You've also got the option here to change uh, different colors of certain things on the car. So I think we might switch to some nice yellow mud flaps. Seems to suit the style of the car, but you can change the uh, the body, the wheels, lots of different options there. Actually, that's quite a nice black version, isn't it? I quite like the white one. I think we'll stick, stick with white, but uh, yeah, got nice options here to change the color of the car. And you can change the, the wheels as well. But what more interesting is the tuning. We'll just have a quick look at the wheels, actually. There's lots and lots of wheels to choose from. These look, all look like they cost 2,050 coins. Uh, I think, from what I can tell, these are purely cosmetic, just down to personal preference. But there you go. If you've got an excess of cash and want to splash it on some wheels, you can do. But let's get into um, the engines and upgrades and stuff. So at the moment, all we can do is change the spoiler angle on the car. Because um, I don't think we've got anything else unlocked. I oh, can change some of the uh, the wheel settings, the toe and camber settings, if we want to. Um, but we can also upgrade. So let's have a look at some of these upgrades. So it tells you what they are at the top. So a filter provides cleaner and cooler air at the engines uh, to provide more power. And you can see as we choose these at the bottom, you can see our stats at the bottom of the screen change. And also our class rating in the bottom left hand corner. Um, if that goes up too high, we will drop into like a C-class car, I'd imagine. I haven't actually got that far yet, but that's what I think would happen. Um, so let's let's, have, let's put a few things on. Let's go for a new filter. So we stuck that on. As you can see, they're at stage two of the filter. Displacement looks like we're already at stage one of that. Uh, changing the displacement will reduce friction and inertia, making the engine more responsive and higher powered. It's quite a big jump up to stage two, but that's going to cost us 5,000 points to make that change, and that's a big jump. So we'll probably stay with level one displacement. So look at the exhaust, that could be a, an easy win. Better exhaust provide more power by allowing the engine to exhale more freely. It's only going to take us up two horsepower, make us a little bit lighter, and re sort of a. Uh, I don't know what the bar is at the bottom there on the far right, the 6.28 seconds, whether that's 0 to 60, uh, possibly, don't know. But that's going to be 1,325 points. I think we'll go for that. Turbo always sounds good. That's quite a big jump, but a lot of, uh, a lot of coinage. 5,575 to upgrade to the next turbo. I think we should probably worry about uh, handling before we get too much more power. So let's stick on the next set of brakes. They're going to be 2,375, but I think that's going to be needed as we go up in power. Weight reduction is always good. It's an easy win. 2,050 coins there. That's going to take us down about 30 kilograms. So that sounds like it's a worthwhile thing to do. Springs are going to be good for the bumpier stages. I think they will allow us a little bit more customization over the ride height and stuff. You see the car graphic actually move up and down as we uh, look at those different springs there. I think we could go for the stage one springs. Whack those on. And then the drivetrain. Bit of clutch would be quite nice to uh, help us with the... Uh, Acceleration. I think we'll stick that on for 720. So quite a big upgrade of our car there. Let's see if it does the job as we head to Germany for the next rally. And again, it's a two-stage rally. Looks like it's a, a daytime stage. 
So let's get into it. So here we are, stage one. Looks like a twilight kind of uh, time setting. See how we get on with our new upgraded car. Just hope we've made the right decisions. As you see there, you could tinker around under the hood, but uh, I'm not really someone that fusses too much with upgrade uh, settings and stuff like that. But it looks like you're well catered for if you do like tinkering that sort of stuff. So we've definitely got some speed from those upgrades. Don't cut. Oh, that was so close <laughs> to that inside corner. We was warned don't cut and must have missed those stones by a fraction of a, of a millimetre. So we've got a one, don't cut. Take that nice and wide, that was nice. Weird little kink and corner here. Little chicane. Back onto gravel, so we've got to be careful. Stages are definitely getting more technical now. wasn't the fastest we could have gone into that corner. Hammer on the opposite lock. And away we go. Let's get to our top down view that we like. Back onto tarmac. Just love this sort of expanded view that this camera angle gives you. You can really see what's coming up. And there's our finish. Achievement racing line. I don't know what that's uh, for. We'll have to have a look at that in a sec. But uh, yeah, two seconds or just under two seconds clear of Richard Burns in second place. Another great time. Let's see how we get on, on the power stage. 1.97 miles. And uh, remember the uh, the last rally in Sweden, we just snuck over the line to take first place by literally hundredths of a second. And uh, Burns has got about one, well, just under two seconds to make up on us. Let's, uh, let's start the rally in this view. And we'll switch to an in-car view around about halfway round if we can get a moment to breathe. See if we get any dust kicking up once we get onto the... Uh, gravel yeah nice bit of dust kicking up there there's a tricky corner coming up whoa accelerate 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 oh no that's going to cost us so much time so much time and already you can see the timing on the left hand side go red as we now drop behind that tells you the time you're away from the leader Let's get into the business end of the camera. Oh, Taking a bit of a detour there. Oh, coming super hot into that corner. Oh no, we've hit a rock. This is a disaster. Absolute disaster. I'm not used to the new power unit in this car yet. All over the show. Five, six, seven, eight seconds. We're just dropping behind. 12 seconds off the leader. Oh my goodness. It's a better take of a sharp corner as you come up to the finish. 
but we're going to be way, way off. All we can hope for is a decent place finish, but we lost so much time at a couple of areas there. Dan in fifth place. Well, absolutely gutted. And it was Richard Burns that took the rally. Ben Glock second. Stig in third. But we'll finish some 15 seconds back. Doesn't say much for all the money we spent on upgrades and uh, to get such a poor result. Look at Richard Burns and Ben Glock at the top of the table. Really close fight there with three points. We're uh, some 15 points back off Ben and 18 points back off Richard. So it's going to be really, really tough to make up those points in two rallies. We move on to Britain next, the British rally. Our home country rally. But uh, is it too much to make up? That's the question we're going to be asking. Can I even click on the right thing? There we are. And we can see 20 competitors here. But, uh, we're only good enough for third. So join us tomorrow for the next episode, the British Rally. And that will be the uh, fifth rally of six as we approach launch day for Rush Rally 3. It's out on the 23rd of December on the Nintendo Switch. £11.99, $14.99. And uh, really, really, if you're a racing fan, you should be having this one top of your Christmas wish list because it is an excellent game. Leave me a comment below if you're liking these playthroughs and uh, drop me a like and subscribe if you don't mind. It'd be really appreciated. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.